a good day to you. In this video, we'll have a look at basically some of the disk features and functions that can be used within Windows 10. They're also available in Windows 8.1. One is disk cleanup. Okay, basically, I'll cancel out of that and I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, it basically cleans up excess files, files that we may not need anymore. Okay, and we just come over here. So it's right click on that and then click on properties and then click disk cleanup. Okay, and then that will basically scan our computer for files that we may or may not want. For example, temporary internet files we've used in the past, we might not want them. Offline web pages, probably not anymore. Okay, delivery optimization files, recycle bin, you might want to clean it if it's gotten too big. Temporary files, okay, we're ticking all. Right now, there's nothing on the computer, okay, in those sections. However, they can take up quite some space. You might end up with like 10 gig. That's showing over there. Okay, clean up system files. That's another option if you want to go even further and then basically remove even more to kind of like save hard disk space, recover it. Okay, and it brings up almost the same window. Okay, you'd click what you want to remove again. Okay, and then the more options is the one that is actually quite interesting. It's a system report restore. Every time Windows um, updates itself or when you add new programs or there are major changes made, Windows creates a system restore point and that also takes up quite a huge amount of space. They can run into gigs. Okay, so if you want to clean up and just leave, for example, the last, the very most recent one, that's fine. You can click on that, delete. Okay, there we go, and that will take a few moments to come. Basically, once you're able to click backwards, it's deleted that, and then you just click OK, and then that will make sure that all those other files are deleted. It can take some time regarding the Windows Update files. It can take quite some time on that point. So that's how to save some space Okay, on your hard disk, quite a lot sometimes. Okay, let's show you another option. Okay, basically properties. Okay, and disk defrag. Okay, it's over here. Okay, basically over time the hard disk can start to become a little bit slower when you saw lots of programs and they're quite big in size. It starts to put, shall we say, um, the files broken up in little fragments scattered all across the hard disk. Now, having them all next to each other obviously speeds up the read time and also can help with drive durability, etc., etc. So once you op get, get to the screen, you click on there and then you would click optimize. What it will do, it will basically check to see what percentage of the disk is defrag is fragmented and then it will basically spend some time. This can run into an hour or hours worth of time depending on the size of your hard disk, how much you have installed, etc. Okay. Um, it doesn't really have much benefit if you are using, shall we say, SSD solid state disks. Okay, the modern kind of like almost like hard disks that are made of made of memory chips. Okay. So if you're using the old disk ones, this actually is quite good. If you're not I wouldn't quite use it for that. Okay, let's just stop that. Okay, at this point. Okay, another thing is error checking. It's always good to do a quick scan of your hard disk or disks, okay, to make sure that they're all okay. This roughly takes about a minute or two max, you know, or four minutes over here. There we go. Okay, it'll quickly diagnose the drive based on its file tables etc and then it should come up and say everything's okay if it's not it'll try and repair it if it's unable to repair it it'll say you need to reboot and then you click yes and then you just restart your computer and it reboots and then repairs the computer at the reboot time okay these are a few tools hopefully this have helped you thank you for watching